Today, I'm going to explain an episode called Mother's Remote from a sci-fi drama anthology on children. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Chen Shu Li is a middle-aged woman who has recently been divorced from her husband. They have a teenage son together named Pei Wei. Shu Li is overly obsessed with her kid and wants him all to herself. She has even managed to obtain sole custody of Pei Wei. The mother and son have recently moved into their new home. A worker helps Shu Li carry all the boxes. His footsteps seem to disgust her, so as soon as the guy leaves, she starts to mop the floor. Shu Li is an extreme germaphobe who is obsessed with sanitation and feels compelled to clean excessively. While dusting Pei Wei's room, she finds several boxes under his bed. She brings a suspicious one out and finds the school's stamp on it. She realizes that her son has been using them to create fake test results to hide his grades from her. In school, Pei Wei is with his friends talking about the upcoming graduation trip. They have planned to sneak out of the hotel room to go for a bike ride. As they excitedly discuss the plan, a female classmate approaches them and asks for Pei Wei's friend's jacket. They laugh and hand it to her, sensing a romantic relationship forming between them. She gives him a note, asking him out on a date, making the guys playfully tease him. Before returning home, Pei Wei prints out a copy of his fake report card. He plans to use the stamps at home to make the card look authentic. Pei Wei knows that if his mother finds out about his shenanigans, she will never allow him to go on the graduation trip. But still, he takes the chance. When he reaches home, he looks for the box but cannot find it. He pretends to be studying when his mother enters the room. He sees that she has the box with her. A nervous Pei Wei doesn't say a word, knowing that his secret is out. She starts to scold him, but he ignores her entirely. Shu Li is enraged by his behavior and gets ever more furious when he says he lost his actual report card. Pei Wei is interested in painting and doodling, but she doesn't support his hobbies. In contrast, she blames his doodles for his low grades and refuses to let him go on the graduation trip. In a fit of rage, Pei Wei says that his father would have let him go. Following that, Shu Li quietly leaves him alone. She works till midnight to calm her anger, then knocks on his door again. When he doesn't answer, she goes to a convenience store to get a cigarette. While smoking at the bus stop, Shu Li notices an advertisement playing on a screen nearby. The actor questions the viewers if their children are disobedient. This catches Shu Li's attention, making her listen carefully. Using the latest technology, scientists have created a remote that will help parents make their children do anything they want. They can basically make all the decisions for the kids without them rebelling. The advertisement, however, doesn't explain what exactly the product is. Moments later, a man approaches Shu Li, who she recognizes as the person from the advertisement she just watched. He asks her if she is interested in the device. Kids, if you ever receive a sales pitch this sketchy, run, run far away. The following morning, Pei Wei wakes up late and runs to the door after getting ready. On his way to the bus stop, he bumps into a man and apologizes. Because of this, he misses the bus and has to take a taxi. When the taxi driver states his son also reads in the same school, he realizes something is odd. Pei Wei is experiencing some kind of deja vu because he went through the same experiences the previous morning. When he reaches school, everyone is already in class. He joins his group of friends and asks them what day it is. They reply that it is June 7th, Wednesday. Pei Wei clearly remembers that it was yesterday, which freaks him out even more. During break time, they yet again plan to sneak out of their hotel room on the graduation trip. Similarly, a girl approaches them, asking for Pei Wei's friend's jacket. Not understanding what is going on, Pei Wei this time chooses to stay quiet. After a long, confusing day, when he returns home, he sees that his box of stamps is still under his bed. Pei Wei is confused, but he doesn't want to risk his mother getting mad again. He stamps the fake report card and shows it to his mother, who appears disappointed. She doesn't call him out for lying and simply asks him to have his dinner. The following day, Pei Wei is again late for school. He gets ready and runs to the bus stop, only to bump into the same guy for the third time. When he misses his bus and gets into the exact same taxi as the previous day, he registers that he might be stuck in a loop. A logical assumption, since Hollywood won't stop making these stupid movies. He runs to the school and looks at the date, which still happens to be the 7th of June. After school, he shows his mother the fake card yet again. However, this time, she doesn't accept it. She claims that she had given him three chances to redeem himself, but he hasn't learned his lesson. 
A shocked Peiwei looks at her in disbelief, as Xu Li declares if he doesn't fix his mistake, he will be stuck in the loop forever. Following that, she brings out a strange remote and presses the reset button. This turns back time for Peiwei, making him wake up on the 7th of June once again. The remote is a controlling device she bought from the stranger at the bus stop. It is used as a torturing technique to make one's child obedient. Peiwei wakes up and confronts his mother, but gets no reply. She asks him to make the right decision and not disappoint her this time. Still, Peiwei does the same thing again. After all, he's a moron who doesn't study and lies about it. For the next few days, the loop keeps on repeating. When Peiwei finally gets tired of it, he hands her his real report card. Delighted at her first success, she instantly puts forward another obstacle for him. Xu Li knows he hates bitter gourd, so to test his obedience, she makes him eat it for dinner. Fearing the remote, he does as he's told. Furthermore, she demands he go to cram school starting the next day. This means that Pei Wei won't get to meet his friends anymore, but still, he cannot refuse. To make him the best in his class, she plans to repeat a day 15 times. That way, he can learn the same chapter over and over again, while his friends only do it once. On his first day of cram school, she makes him wear the clothes of her choice. For the next 15 days, he continues going to the first day of class. Pei Wei hardly has any control in his life. His only way to survive is to do as told. The loops make him suffocate, but his mother is too obsessive to understand his feelings. The twist here is that there is no good guy and bad guy. They're both dicks, such as life. One day after class, he goes to the school and meets his homeroom teacher. When Pei Wei insists, the teacher agrees to try to persuade his mother to let him go on the graduation trip. He arranges a meeting with her and puts forward his concerns about Pei Wei's mental health, but Xu Li is adamant about her decision. She thinks she knows the best for her kid and completely ignores the teacher's pleas. One day, Pei Wei is in the library when he meets a girl named Chang Fang Lan. She also likes to doodle, so the two instantly get along. They talk about several doodle artists and promise to meet again the next day before separating. After some days of talking, Pei Wei skips his cram class and goes to Fang Lan's home for a date. He is welcomed by her painter mother and musician father. They are the exact opposite of Xu Li, which is refreshing for Pei Wei. The kids go to the terrace and paint using water guns. This is the most fun Pei Wei has ever had. As they talk about their dreams and aspirations, Fang Lan says that she wants to go to New York to study the arts. The following day, Xu Li gets a call from Pei Wei's teacher, who informs her of his absence. Somewhere else, he and Fang Lan are enjoying their date. They go to a photo booth and kiss, but their date is interrupted by Xu Li, who has found them after tracking Pei Wei's phone. She takes them out for lunch and asks Fang Lan several questions about herself. When they return home in the evening, she demands Pei Wei to stop going to the library and stop seeing Fang Lan immediately. Pei Wei begs her to let him have this one thing, but she stays firm in her decision. Seeing him desperate for something that she doesn't like, she uses a special feature in the remote and resets the loop. Pei Wei wakes up in his bed and runs to meet Fang Lan, but she doesn't recognize him. He is devastated to find that because of the remote, no one except for his mother recognizes him. Following that day, Pei Wei gets extremely sick and can hardly get up. Xu Li takes care of him to the best of her abilities, but he only gets weaker. He often dreams of playing with his friends and Fang Lan on a beach, but knows his dream will never come true. The scene shifts to several years later. Pei Wei has grown into a man with a stable job and high income. He is dating a girl named Zhi Zhi and has moved out of his mother's house. Xu Li, however, is still very involved in his life and controls him to some point. Her obsession with cleanliness has passed on to Pei Wei. Xu Li doesn't approve of Zhi Zhi, so she is constantly looking for girls to set him up. One evening, they meet for dinner, where she has invited one of such girls named Riley. According to Xu Li, Riley has recently returned from America and is looking for a partner. She tries to engage Pei Wei in a conversation with Riley, but he clearly isn't interested. After dinner, the two are left alone. Riley tells him that she is actually engaged to a girl. Her parents do not support her decision and trick her into joining people for dinner like she did today. Pei Wei laughs and reveals that he also has a girlfriend and didn't know she would be here tonight. They talk about her life in America. When Riley mentions New York, Pei Wei reminisces about his first love, Feng Lan. He remembers all the time he spent with her like it was yesterday and still despises his mother for doing what she did to him. 
After returning home that day, he looks for Fang Lan's name on the internet and finds out she is an artist in New York. Seeing her face makes him tear up, thinking about all the things he missed in his childhood. The very next day, he books his mother a flight to Europe for a vacation. Zhi Zhi also leaves for a trip to Australia. When he is alone, he goes to Xu Li's house to look for the remote. However, he doesn't know the safe's passcode. On her way to the airport, Xu Li realizes she has left her passport at home. When she returns, she finds her son outside her house with the remote that she used to control him. She furiously asks him what he plans to do with it. Pei Wei approaches her with the remote, but is hit by a vehicle midway. The scene abruptly cuts to the day he met Fang Lan for the first time. She looks at him and smiles, while Pei Wei cries, overwhelmed to see her after so long. We can assume that after Pei Wei was hit by the vehicle, Xu Li revived him using the remote. Many fans believe since the remote hadn't been used for a long time, it was still set on the date when Pei Wei met Fang Lan. Hence, when Xu Li hurriedly pressed it to save her son, she accidentally sent him to the past. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.